Hi, my name is Brava. Today we're going to do ABC's Mouse. ABC's Mouse has science, social studies, um, math, games, and more. You can like, share, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like to download ABC's Mouse for free for 30 days, um, on the bottom of the, de the details, you'll see a blue link. When you click the blue link, you can um, subscribe. I mean, you can see mouse. If, if you don't know how to subscribe to ABC's Mouse alone, you can ask um, your parent for help. So, let's get started. So, right now, I just have to time a limit. You had reached your time a limit on. I just have to write write my password. Oops, not correct. There. Thirteen hours zero minutes. Okay. Now. We're just on ABC's Mouse Classroom. We're not doing that right now. We're going on our learning path. Terrific! Let's get started. Let's get started. So it's a video of all about maps. I think you know like different kinds of countries you live. You're born from, where you go, where the city, but we're learning about maps. Kind of like the map. You know, so it's it's talking about All maps. About maps. So you can listen carefully. All about maps. Table of contents. Chapter one. What is a map? Page four. Chapter two. Maps can help you go places. Page eight. Chapter three. Maps can help you find things. Page twelve. Chapter four. Maps can tell you about places. Page eighteen. Chapter one. What is a map? Do you want to know where Madagascar is? Or how far the North Pole is from where you live? Or where you can see a group of stars that looks like a big soup ladle in the sky? Well, there are maps that can tell you. A map is a drawing or model of a place. There are city maps, state maps, world maps, and even maps of the universe. Maps help people find things, learn things, and get from one place to another. Maps come in many different shapes and sizes. There are flat maps, like wall maps and pocket maps. A book that has a lot of flat maps in it is called an atlas. There are round maps too. One kind of round map is called a globe. Most globes show all the land and water on Earth. Why are there so many kinds of maps? It's because one map can't show you everything there is to see in a place. Different maps show different things. Chapter 2. Maps can help you go places. Some maps help you get from one place to another. When you want to go somewhere in a car, a road map can help you plan how to get there. You can look at it and decide if you want to take streets or highways. You can also decide which places you want to visit along the way. A bus map shows you which buses you can take to get from one part of a city or town to another. A trail map shows you how to get to different places in a park or in the wilderness. Besides trails, the map can show you things like waterfalls, lakes, places with beautiful views, and other sites a visitor would want to see. Chapter 3. Maps can help you find things. An amusement park map shows pictures of different rides and where you can stop to eat and drink. You can use it to find the rides you want to go on, 
and the foods you want to eat. This map shows you where to find famous places in the United States, like the Statue of Liberty. It also shows you where there are mountains, lakes, and rivers. A library map shows reading rooms and where different kinds of books are kept. It helps you find the books you want to read. And this map shows you where to find stars in the sky. Chapter 4. Maps can tell you about places. Not all maps tell you how to get to a place or where to find things. Some maps tell you what a place is like. For example, this weather map shows you where it's warm, where it's cold, and where it's raining or snowing. This map shows all the states in the United States. The lines between the states are called borders. The borders show where one state ends and another state begins. By looking at the map, you can see which states are next to each other. Some maps show you the shape of the land. With this kind of map, you can see where there are high mountains and where there are deep oceans. Some maps even show you the kinds of animals that live in a place. This map shows some of the animals that can be found in Australia. Now that you know about maps and how they can be used, why not draw your own map? You could draw a road map to help people find your house. A treasure map is fun to make too. Give copies of it to your friends and have a treasure hunt in your own backyard. There's so many things to learn all about maps. Like where animals live, place one here to there. There's a lot of, a lot of things to learn about maps because maps can help you. They're really Terrific! Good. Click on the next activity! It's a game, so it says treasure map. Austin and... Oscar and Scout treasure map. Austin and Scout treasure maps. Scout and I are using our maps to find treasures all over the world. Can you help us? Yes. Whoa. Hey. The stone cup is hidden in the ruins to the north of us. Select that. Oasis. So, top River. One, this one is rooms. Could be the same answer. The ancient staff is hidden in the swamp to the south of us. This one, because it's south, because there's east, north goes up, west goes this way, east goes that way, Wonderful. and south goes that way. The emerald idol is buried in the forest to the east of us. East of us, it could be here because when you go top and then go side, cover fields there. That's the right answer. Excellent. You can, it's so much fun playing baby snow. The guys even the jade elephant is hidden in the hills to the south of us. South of us. If it's south of us, it could be this one because when you go down. That's it's called hill. Awesome job. The silver sword is hidden in the ruins to the west of us. West? This one. <laughs> so funny. That could be crazy if you go there. Fantastic. 
bronze necklace is hidden in the volcanoes to the west of us. This volcano, it is its west, that way, and it's near us. Incredible! Good. The golden mule statue is hidden in a shipwreck to the south of us. This one. Whoa! <laughs> that could be dizzy. Terrific! Yeah. Well done! We got everything and then they're going to the museum to put everything back. We did it! Stamp. Let's see what's our next activity. Terrific! Oh. Click on the next activity. It's a puzzle, ocean cutout puzzle. So, Africa is here. South America. I mean South America, not South Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean. Pacific no. Ocean. It, you can see the sizes. We, the sizes can also tell you which which is which. Arctic Ocean. Southern Ocean. Arctic Ocean. Indian Ocean. Oh, Indian Ocean. Atlantic, Atlantic Ocean. There's a lot of oceans here. Pacific Ocean, North America, North America, Atlantic Ocean, North America, Atlantic Ocean, Antarctica, Antarctica, Africa, Africa, Asia. Asia. That's so, that's Asia. a really small bird. Europe. Europe. Australia. 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 Which continent do you live on? Um. I don't know. Like. I live in North America. This is my country. Go con continue to next activity. Continue. Continue to. Mm -hmm. Click on the next okay. activity. Now we're gonna do more next time, but I hope you enjoyed doing ABC's Mouse with me, and I will see you next time. Bye.